I just took Nash for a walk because it was Brian's day to walk, but unfortunately he had to knock out some work this morning. Poor guy's been up since 5 a.m. working on stuff because he didn't want to do it all day today. I am headed to the cinnamon roll place that I discovered the other day. So now I can finally talk about some of the errands that I ran because by this point when you're seeing the video, my friend will have already received her gift. One of the errands that I ran was to one of our favorite movie theaters. It's called Alamo Draft House and it's like a dinner and a movie theater. So you go, you buy your tickets, you can buy your seats ahead of time so it's really no stress and then you get to order food. Our favorite thing to eat there is this Brussels sprout bacon and goat cheese pizza and buffalo cauliflower. I'm telling you, their food is really good. You can also order cocktails. They have great desserts and milkshakes and stuff. So anyway, we got our friends a gift card to Alamo Draft House and we're gonna give it to them with like a, a voucher to offer to babysit their new baby so that they can go have a movie date night. And I'll show you the other stuff that we got for her because I'm really excited about the gift. While I was getting that gift card, I noticed that there is a cinnamon roll store next door. It's like gourmet cinnamon rolls. It's called Cineholic. I've never been there before. I've only heard of Cinnabon as like a standalone Cinnabon. What? Cinnabon as a standalone cinnamon roll place. So I figured since the 23rd is when Brian and I celebrate Christmas, like with each other, that's where we exchange our gifts because the next several days are more focused on our whole families because we do Christmas Eve with my family and then Christmas day with his family. We're gonna get some cinnamon rolls to celebrate like our Christmas and have that for breakfast. And then we'll exchange presents with each other tonight back and honestly I wasn't prepared at all for this cinnamon roll place because it's a build your own cinnamon roll. So you have all of these different frosting flavors, you get to add toppings and then they obviously have pre-made ones that you can choose from and they had some like seasonal ones but then you can also get cookie dough and then they have cookies, brownies and then this cake that looks delicious. So I went with the old school in the chai. Let's open these up. So these look identical, <laughs> but this is a flavored frosting with like chai syrup, I guess. And I didn't get any toppings because we just needed to try the cinnamon rolls on their own this time. And then next time we can get crazy. But that was a really cool concept because I've never seen this done before. This is what I was kind of talking about in the car. So this is what we ended up getting Kessler because she loves popcorn at the movies, but they just had a baby. So the reality of them being able to go to the movies for a little while is probably not likely. So I got this little silicone bowl and all you do is pop it open and it becomes this really easy to use little microwavable bowl. You fill up the popcorn to those little lines that are marked with grams. I provided some popcorn for her to use for that. And then you place this top on without allowing it to create a vacuum seal. So you basically just like lightly place it in there. And then as it goes in the microwave, the popcorn will pop, 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 pop. And then this top will grow and sit on the top so that the popcorn doesn't explode everywhere. And then I also got her this because it sounds delicious. The Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Ranch seasoning. Come on. So I thought that would be good. And then we also got them a gift card to Alamo Draft House, which is that movie theater I was talking about. And then I'm going to print out this little ticket that is basically like, you can cash this in and we'll babysit for you so that y'all can have a date night at the movies. So we thought that was a cute little gift. Oh, and then we're also giving her one of the Spider-Man movies. We're all big Marvel fans and Spider-Man for whatever reason. Well, actually we know the reason because there's not a, a good deal with Sony and Disney right now. So you can't stream any of them. So I ordered her the latest Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man Far From Home. And that's going to go with it so that they can have a movie night right now with the baby at home. And then they can go out and have a movie night later. This is one playing boy. He just brought me his ball. Which one? This one? <laughs> Good job, baby. Great job, Nash. Proof that Brian is alive and well. Poor guy had to work this morning, but now we're having an avocado toast date. And then he's gonna get to relax for a little bit. And then all of our Christmas traditions will begin.
<laughs> we could get him triple fluffed doggos or okay. some broccoli. Edgy, edgy veggies. <laughs> Bad apples. Uh, do they make these for the humans or the dogs? Cause... Oh, look at that money. Doggo doggo bills, y'all. <laughs> Corgi cola. So note to self, don't go to Target on December the 23rd. Brian, <laughs> we've encountered the craziest people in this parking lot. Just driving like maniacs all over the place. It's like this close to Christmas people just forget road rules. I don't know how that happens, but we just picked up a couple of uh, honk, honk. Do you see what we're talking about? Yeah, like we just had somebody almost back into us. See, I just had to stop recording because that was really scary. Anyway, people were crazy, but I will say we were looking for stuff for Nash, which typically we don't buy him gifts, but this year we're just feeling extra lovey-dovey on that guy. And let me tell you, he scored at Target. We got him this little educational puzzle game where you, <laughs> why are you laughing? Should I call it educational? <laughs> it is. It's another way for him to like get smarter, use his brain, do some critical yeah. thinking, which Brian usually tries to involve some critical thinking in their playing. Like he'll hide behind things and, or he'll make Nash go around to get his toy instead of just hopping over things and stuff. And so you put little treats in different compartments and he has to spin it and like remove these pieces to get to the little treats. So we also bought him um, some more of these little treats that we got him for his birthday. But instead of it being like the soft chews, these are kind of like little pieces of blueberry and peanut butter flavored pellet things. So. We are really excited to give him that. Oh, and the very first toy that he ever, ever got, we called it Ali. It's this little stuffed alligator, and it, that thing is toast. And so we got him a new little mini version to play with because we know he loved it. Yep, Ali's offspring. Yeah, it's just a baby. And now um, we're on the way to Whole Foods because Brian was out of cold brew, and we need to pick up another thing. So we, we have some ideas for his dad that we wanted to get there. So anyway. That's where you'll find us next. We might, we might hit up the uh, the bougie dog shop too. I know, we kind of wanted to just, wow, this is really wobbly. We kind of wanted to just look around the fancy dog store that's next door, so. We've never been in. I'm sure the You're, prices are gonna shock us. Yeah, I don't know if he'll be getting anything, but we'll see. All right, we told y'all, Nash really did make out like a bandit. Here's his teeny tiny mini Ali. And then these were the little crispies we were talking about that we wanted to put inside of his puzzle, which is called the Dog Tornado. Four layers of spinning fun. So you have all these little compartments and you put little treats in them and they have to like lift up these bones and twist this around. It says this is an intermediate level, so we'll see how this goes. And then we went to the fancy dog place and we ended up getting him from the same brand, which they didn't have this exact snack at Target, but these are the peanut butter and bacon treats. So we thought like three or four of these in here would be good. Same with these little crispies, which is why we went with the smaller treats. So there's the guy who's getting them. We gotta put them under the tree. Good boy. You're doing it, Nash. Good job. Just exchange gifts between us. Brian won Christmas. He he nailed it this year and I'm feeling very insecure about it. But anyway, we just picked up pizza. It looks great. Pepperoni jalapeno is our go-to. And it was gonna be an hour and a half to get it delivered or 15 minutes to pick it up. So we just picked it up 
and then decided to drive around and look at a bunch of Christmas lights on the way home because we weren't starving. So now we're gonna eat and we're gonna watch the season finale of Hawkeye. And then we haven't watched the two episodes of the Great British Baking Show, like the holiday version. So we're gonna do that too. Don't sleep on this habanero ranch. It is so good with pizza. Okay, Brian and I agree, Hawkeye was so good. So much better than Loki. We just didn't like Loki. And what other one? I still really liked Falcon and Winter Soldier. And what was the first TV show? Oh, WandaVision. WandaVision was so good too. So I think I would rank them. Ooh, this is hard. But I think I just really love that Hawkeye had a Christmas element to it. So it's hard to rank them. But I was very impressed by Haley Steinfeld because to be honest, in Pitch Perfect 2, I'm pretty sure she's in. Either 2 or 3. Was there a 3? I'm pretty sure it's Pitch Perfect 2 that she's in. And she was not a good actress. I'm sorry I said it. But in this, she was really, really good. Now we're finished with that series and we're moving on to watch the two Great British Baking Show holiday versions. So we're going to do that. Little Nash man over here. We'll cut him. He is pooped. <gasps> it's been a great night. Merry Christmas Eve. I am in the middle of getting ready and packing simultaneously because we're gonna spend tonight at my parents' house and then the next night at Brian's dad's house. So that means that we have to get everything ready to go because we're gonna leave here around lunchtime today. But first, Brian, I told you yesterday that he did such a great job with my Christmas gifts. Like just listened throughout the year and like surprised me with different things. And so the first thing that we're using is actually this like pour over kettle situation and like a pour over coffee maker. And not only did he get that, but he also got coffee and a virtual class so that we can learn how to actually do the pour over. And it's all from Blue Bottle. Well, the actual kettle itself is from a different brand called Fellow, but that's beside the point. We're gonna do that class this morning and like learn how to make the coffee and then it's like an experience too. Wasn't that so great? He did great. So I'm gonna keep getting ready um, and try to get as much of this stuff packed up as I can. But I did wanna provide a little quick tip for you. I always, the day I'm leaving for a trip or whatever, I never pack my cosmetics and stuff until I'm getting ready that day because it's the easiest way for you not to forget things. So as I do a step in my getting ready process, I use the product and then I pack it away in its respective bag. So that way I'm sure that I captured every single bit of my getting ready step so I'm not without any cosmetics. And this is usually the area of my suitcase that I never forget things in because I do it like this. Packing your clothes and stuff is a little bit harder obviously because you're not wearing the exact same clothes every day, but there you go. Nash and I are currently kind of fighting for seat space because he just cannot get settled for whatever reason. But we are sitting in the parking lot of Total Wine right now because Brian wanted to hop in and grab a bottle for his dad for Christmas. And then we also needed a couple of things for some Christmas cocktails that we're making tonight at my parents' house. Anywho, that's the latest. Look at this weirdo. Nash, what you doing?
Wait, let me see the scuba diver again. That is so good. Wait, wait, wait. Here's my fort. Wait, wait. And we've got Cameron Diaz looking like Diaz. a Bobby. And Mr. Napkinhead. Yeah. Brian, what did you make? Ginger Z. <laughs> you know, the weather woman on ABC. And we've got a ginger root house with a gingerbread door. No, just a regular bread door. Thomas, what did you make? Thomas. Pick up your. You got a stormtrooper right here. Yeah. And a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> why does he have a mustache? Well, why not? It's a hipster guy. Yeah. In your house? And then the house from Tatooine. Wait, flip it around? Yeah, the house from Tatooine. And I realized that's when we stopped taking video. <laughs> so that is everything that we accomplished this Christmas. We ended up um, just going to bed kind of shortly after that and then woke up the next morning, opened presents with my family. Then we drove out to Brian's dad's house and celebrated with his dad and grandmother. And we just got home a couple of hours ago. And so that is a wrap on Vlogmas 2021. <laughs>